You can do a marathon when you walk up and down the stairs, but we are lazy and we go to take the monorail. This is very cute. Two girls here are being dressed up like school kids. Hello and welcome everyone! I am here in Busan and you will definitely travel with me to see beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Busan. So come and follow me now in a snail speed here in this monorail. Come and follow me! In beautiful, beautiful Busan, you have a Chinatown and a Texas street too. But this is the Chinatown with a lot of Russian shops. Let's check it out. The Texas street is just on the other side. And here you can see everywhere Chinese shops. And there are so many people waiting here for dim sum. And all the other shops are completely empty. Very cute street with some kind of history and art gallery here. As we see, hmm, not really sure. Ah, okay, you can go inside and see the history. And there are some Russian, Uzbek shops, maybe Mongolian, not really sure. But it's all mixed up. In a little Russian Uzbek shop you can find a variety of alcohol foods from Germany included and Russia and maybe yeah, Uzbekistan or something. Oh and the sausages and the cottage cheese obligatory. I'm going for the cottage cheese. More Chinese buildings here, quite nice, and the gate to end this Chinese village and we go to the monorail. Not far away from the Chinese street you have the Ibagugil monorail and this is where we are going but look at these stairs, fantastic, wow and it's hot. These are the stairs where we can take the monorail for. And as you see, there's a little pond or water fountain. And here this fancy building seems to be the monorail. Let's check it out. And here we go. Oh, little boy, hello. This is the monorail. Wow. We will take it. Thanks to the little Azuma here. Push the button, everything is fine, and we will go up. little monorail with all the grannies and grandpas there. We are now going to the Ibagugil, which is apparently up here. From the monorail we have found the Dangsan or Dang, Donggu Dangsanje, which is a ritual shrine for shamans. Let's check this out.
Yes, indeed, this is a big walk, Donggu. We are completely out of breath with all these tiny little walks and paths up and down the hill. But look at that. That is a part of Pusan, uh, kind of an old part, I would say, plus some houses here. But definitely this area is quite cute and really tough. And now it goes down to the monorail with this little stairs here in this little Donggu village. Yes, welcome walking the stairs. There is an experience center here in this area and you can put on old school clothes that are here and it only costs 2,000 won for the dry cleaning and they even have the shoes and this is for the arm and you can look a little bit like a kaktuki azoshi or something there where the kit is ah that looks quite cool and we have here ah some game <laughs> Game stuff for children and old school setting. Wow, you can make a good shot here. This is very cute. Two girls here are being dressed up like school kids. Or maybe it's mom and daughter. Ah, wow. Yogi Hambon Boseo. <laughs> wow. Okay, this is the old Pusan school uniform. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Once you manage to walk the stairs from the bottom to the top, you can get a medal like these two gentlemen. Wow, awesome. Tsukamnida. Oh, Oh, this is the time. Okay, that's why they pull me. Oh yeah, Hambon. Manse! Manse! Woo! Manse! My friend is in the monorail. She cannot walk anymore. But me, I'm going to walk all these stairs here. And <laughs> you will see. They have made a lot of cute little things everywhere. You can look and see. It's definitely not boring. Little street painting and tile decoration. They really made it very nice and lovely. Look at the wall painting. The figures here, wow, and uh, what is this kind of like a skyline in the metal carved with a viewing spot over the port. Maybe I'm spending too much time here, but I think there are so many cute things. Do you see this? The little houses and it continues here. Ah, this is so cute. All these tiny, cute little things that Korean artists are placing to make their city and their neighborhood cuter. Look at that. Isn't this cute? And just after the monorail, we can see the Surim Sa temple. Let's go to that one. This is an amazing temple structure judged from here. It seems to be one building with a lot of paintings. 
this is Surimsa Temple. Sorry, against the sunlight. Taking the Yuram San, the ferry around Taejong De. Ooh, let's go this way. It's not Angelinos. We have just missed our ferry, but look at this beach. A black pebble beach. Nice. We have 30 minutes here. So while I'm sitting here right now eating my bingsu, I'm meeting a fabulous YouTuber who's a VJ for a pop DJ DJ. Yes. Edelman on there. Uh, YouTuber Pans, uh, Republic of Korean Mother Pans, and my company, uh, Popcorn TV. Popcorn yes, TV. Uh, best DJ. Best DJ. Yes. Awesome. See, you are coming into Busan to take on there to take the Yuram Son Ferry, and who do you meet in a tiny small coffee shop? A famous DJ. Yes, Korea YouTuber, Hansel, and uh, Live TV, uh, Popcorn TV, Play Store, Popcorn TV, okay? Oh, wow! Um, yes, Here. Okay, let's get it. Awesome. See, all the people that you can meet in Korea just randomly like him. Awesome. One, two, three, speak. Cha cha. Cha cha. One, two, three. Cha cha. Bye. Okay, we are boarding this boat and then soon we are departing to see the wonderful coastline.
we are now going to the Tsagalzi Shizang market and I find here a small Halmoni who is carving out a pumpkin, a hubak. Maybe that's a spaghetti squash. Look at that! She's carving out spaghetti pieces from the pumpkin. <laughs> Very cute. The beginning of the Tsagalchi fish market starts like this. Eatery over eatery and more eateries. The fish comes a little bit later. Here we are now fully in the fish market main area. It is already evening time, so not so many people, but fish is still remaining. And sometimes you can find whale meat, gure gogi. It looks like this. Oh, very fatty. And here comes the inside world of Tagalchi fish market. Eat and eat. You can select your living fish here and over there the gentleman is slicing and cutting the fish and you can eat meon tang or hue or other things. There is a lot here. We are now selecting flounder and rockfish for 20,000 hue raw fish. Oh poor Seng Son, we will eat you. When you are here, you have to select your fish as well and see that they are alive. And then you can go over there and eat it. Maybe our fish is in the making. Slice and slice and slice. This is our menu and there comes our fish. Ah, good. Aha, uh -huh. what fish is this? I don't remember. Rock fish and flounder. Yeah. After our fish, we got the fish soup and some toge gui for 20,000. Wow, that's expensive. But who cares? We are the tourists here and we enjoy. Mm. So, we got the soup here after asking for the soup. And the soup is really good. And obviously, you have to do cheers with a cold beer. Come then! The speciality from Busan is Omuk, fish cake. And here's a very nice shop with a lot of varieties of Omuk, or in other parts they say Odeng. These are all the varieties of Omuk or Odeng. It looks pretty empty, but the shop is quite nice. So many varieties. <laughs>